Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> just a quick, quick uh, charity shop haul. Um, got a couple of fails. Uh, got some all right stuff and got a couple of things I'm really chuffed with. A um, couple of things off of my bucket list. So, yeah, not bad. I went off. I left about half nine, was back for 12. So I've done some listing. Hey, up, Sue. You all right? Um, hello, four people. Say hello. So, yeah, just a quick one. Oh, yeah, so a couple of fails. So I might just get those out of the way. Well, it's sort of one and a half fails. Yeah, fails, two of them, really. I thought I'd um, done all right with this. He actually didn't cost one ninety nine. He cost one forty nine. Because I thought, oh, is that that belt thing that we're meant to look for? Um, I don't know what's going on here, which is why she gave it to me for 149, so I don't know what that is. Um, hi Julie Core. I don't know, but anyway, it's not it's not the one that we're all after. I have sold these before for like a tenner, but I just can't be bothered to be honest. So hi Al. Um, it's the Thinkway toys, of course, is the one we're after. Oh, crispy, crispy. <laughs> Hello. Um, that really made me laugh actually. If anybody hasn't seen Heather's stream from a minute ago, she thought when everybody was saying hello to Chris B that they were actually calling him Crispy. <laughs> crispy, Crispy. Oh, that was hilarious. So if anybody missed that, I'm just letting you all know now. Um, Chris's new nickname, Crispy. Yeah, but this is actually Disney, Disney Pixar Hasbro. So I'm not going to bother with that. I just re-donated, but it was only 149, so that's all right. Um, it's me being disappointed. I really don't know about Yves Saint Laurent. <sighs> don't know about this. So I picked it up to actually, it wasn't the cheapest thing I picked up. My prices were all right today, I must say. Uh, what did I pay for it? I think. Let me look at my doodads, my little things. Yeah, I think I might have paid $3.95. That looks about right. 3.95 maybe but um yeah the comps aren't all all that on these it's got the little thing on the front which i know you should look for i don't think i'd bother with these again however i also found a, a line like a pull line or something i don't know if this will pick up where is it there it's like oh you can see it like a little white line so um i've put it on in hope yeah, that's you're fine, Chris. That's no problem at all. I'll publicize it for you. <laughs> Maybe everybody can call you that at the meetup in Bristol. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I would have been very hopeful to try for 20, but now I found that line. I don't know even know if I can sell it. I've just stuck it on at something like 15.99 or something, but I don't even know if it'll sell. So that's the other, um, <laughs> hey, DBG, uh, that's the other fail, really. Um, well, this was almost like, it's just, it's not what I thought it was. Um, really heavy fleece thing. Um, Shot is the brand. And I picked it up. It was a fiver, but I'm sure it's only, I think I'm put it on for 25, but, you know, it's probably like a 20 pound. It's just like a bread and butter. Shot spelt like that. And I think I thought it was something more desirable than it is. Um, so, yeah, like just a bread and buttery thing, really. So it was all a bit meh. Um, and then got some better stuff. Uh, one thing I did completely overpay for, but I love Hunter, like I love Barber, to be honest. Karen, no notification. Oh, sorry. Um, I think Heather's was just did that as well. So yeah, Hunter, absolutely love Hunter. Got some gold Hunter wellies. Paid too much, eight ninety nine. But I've never seen Hunter out. However, and it's XL. Yeah, XL. What I can't work out is it feels like like a cycling vest or something. Oh, maybe it's a running vest, uh, not a vest, uh, top. I don't know what it is, basically. It feels like a kind of runny, 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 a running or cycling thing. Whether the colours on it are more like snow, the sort of thing you get in ski or snow wear, but I don't think it is because it's too, I think it's like running or cycling i looked up on the hunter site and they're not doing anything like this anymore so i just don't know what to price this at to be honest and i paid too much but i don't i don't mind and i'll get my money back but i don't know what to describe it as at the moment 
it's um, like, let me read the ingredients, exercise top. I, no, yeah, I thought about snow. I thought it's not a base layer. It's not the right material. Um, yeah, it's a cool top and it's big. It's 82% nylon and 18% spandex. So it's that stretchy. It's the sort of thing the cyclists or runners wear, but I really don't know how to price. I'm happy just to price high, but I don't know how to describe it at the moment. Maybe I'll do both of those things. I haven't put that on yet. Um, then, yeah, this is another thing. More shoes. I, I don't know if I like doing shoes, but after Barker's the other day, was it Mel? Um, saw these Barker slip on. Are they loafers if they don't have the toggle? A slip on shoes, anyway. Can't remember what I've described them as. Yeah, Barker's, and they're like an 11 and a half, which I assume is a reasonable size for a bloke. There's the heels, and of course, they look like buggered there because it's a leather sole, but they're actually in quite good condition. Um, and I paid, where's my little sticker? $7.95 for those, but given they're Barker's, I'm going, I think I'm going for 40, but what I've started doing now, because of the offers to watchers, it's a bit like when you price a bit higher um, when you're putting all best offer on. Um, so I, you know, be quite happy with 30 to 35. Sorry, yeah, I'd be quite happy with that, but I'll, I'll see what the interest is. And then if I get some watchers, then I can send out me offers. Um, so, actually, yeah, I've never had Barkers before either, so that's a good one to have picked up, but I suppose I wasn't really that bothered, it just feels like an old man brand, really. Um, another thing, another brand that was on my list is Marmot, I don't know if that's how you say it. I did actually find Marmot, but it was literally just, it was a base layer, so it was a women's, like, extra small, and I just gave it to Connie to go, because they were going skiing. Um, gun top. I went mad a couple of hours ago on New Way. What? To find it. Still not got the button. What do you mean gun top? Um, yeah, so Marmot. So that's pretty... It's, it's, it's just delightful, isn't it? When you're in a shop and they've got ridiculous prices on things. Ridiculous. And then you go along and then you see... One of your brands that you look out for at a totally reasonable price. I'm just like, oh, thank you for not knowing everything. Um, what did I pay for that? Five ninety nine. Yeah, and it's a it's Gore Tex. It's like one of these pack down light things, Mac jobs. Um, I think I might have gone for forty on this, but happy to take less as well. Yeah, five ninety nine. Yeah, I was really happy with that. That's what, you know, I'd pay at least that for a shirt these days. Abstract print rash guard men's top. Abstract print, yeah. Hunter one could be a gun top, just Googled hunter's tops. Hmm. It feels like it's breather blossoming, you know, like the runners and cyclists. Because the stuff I've had for cyclists feels like that. Um, hi Heather, oh did you see my hunter top Heather, because you're the lady who might know, you definitely are the lady that might know, it feels like a cycling top, sorry if I want to bore you with this, it's hunter, but it, it's jersey, uh, not jersey, it's um, it's got spandex in it and it's like the cycling running material and I can't see anything like that on the hunter website, oh a swim top, frickin' it, this is getting bizarre isn't it, a swim, oh, a swim top. Oh, look at that then. Is it one of those that keeps the sun off you? That's an extra large anyway. Oh, that's interesting. It's all coming out the woodwork now. Right, so, yeah, I've got my fowls out of the way. Oh, I've got a boring pair of jeans, which is just like picking up a bread and butter thing. But these are, I've only seen these sold in America. I think they're men's jeans. Yeah, they'd be freaking huge for a woman if they were. Seven for All Mankind, A Pocket is the style, but they are flares. And I've seen quite a few sold in America, not really here. So I um, can't remember what I'm putting these on at. 25, 30 pounds or something and see what the interest is. Yeah, keeps seen Seven for All Mankind now. Um, and I've just got a, yeah, a couple of, 
shirts. Yeah, so Marmot was one of my brands I was chuffed to pick up, actually, and Hunter, to be honest, although I wasn't actively looking for Hunter, but I was well pleased to see it. Yeah, and then um, True Religion, lovely, lovely. I had a True Religion ladies sweatshirt that sold really well for 25, and I've got True Religion jeans on which I haven't sold yet. This is like a Western style with the proper things. Um, size large. I think I'm going for 25. Am I going for 25 or 30 or something? Maybe 25. I've popped this on up. Um, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. What have I, What did I pay? Um, oh, yeah. This was this and the next shirt that I'm going to show you. Oh, it's absolutely superb. Yeah, this is today. I just literally nipped to. It was, I stopped at two shops on the way in a real scrubby area, but um, weren't all that at all. And then um, now the bridge is open near us. I can go to this other area where there's three shops. But I've, what I've noticed in this other area, that I literally haven't been going for a year because it, the traffic was too awful when they had the bridge works going on. Um, there's some shops there. Seem to do stuff really well. There's one in Woodley where I go as well, where the Oxfam, they just want to keep the stuff turning over. So they're always reducing. I love it because you see stuff in there one week, next week you go and it's dirt cheap. Well, you know, pretty, yeah, dirt cheap actually, to be honest. So this true religion was two pounds. I just, oh God, it's so nice. It was 4 45 to start with, which I'd have paid anyway. And then it was two pounds. I was so pleased. And I tell you what, it was a Sioux. And you know, I've had like problems with people in Sioux, like not saying, no, you can't have your stamp, and no, you can't use your card, and like you're I'm not giving you the um, loyalty card anyway. Guy in there, absolutely lovely, said hello, and came, and the woman was a bit like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. She's filled up her card, and she needs another one, so he got me a new card. And he said, do you want to use it on this? I was like, oh, uh, well, yeah. If, like, it's not the game. You can't use it on this. You have to be on the next transaction, which is fine as well, but it just is all a bit pathetic, really. Um, I was like, oh, yeah. Like, it's just, just, you know, normal and helpful. It was very nice. Um, Hi, Peter. Five minute break. Yeah, you're doing a marathon photographing. Oh yeah, because you've got a haul, haven't you? I haven't, I haven't uh, viewed that yet on your channel. Karen got two menswear, debating a third, but decided to leave it. Got a Fred Perry for a pound. Oh, that's nice. Actor scoot and polo shirt for a pound. Ooh, that's all very nice, isn't it? Far a top. Now I picked up a far shirt and I was like. I'm not really into these prices. It's still on. It's only on for about £16. I've got it in Liverpool. I do not want to be bothering the Farah. So, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, so then just, yeah, so just happy to find true religion. I don't think I'll bother with Eve Sandler on again. Um, but this is the one, I think I've got this from Sophie. Um, Sophie, oh, why can I never remember her Instagram name? Shopping with Sophie, is it? Karen, you all know, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, really chuffed to see this. Oliver Spencer wasn't particularly looking for it, but I just remembered, I'm sure it's Sophie talking about this brand, and it is quite tasty, actually. I looked up the um, the website, and yeah, they're, they're quite nice prices for shirts. Exactly what I would like to see. Little granddad collar, seems in really good condition. Um, well, that's a bit faded there, isn't it? Anyway. Yeah, happy with that. And shopping with Sophie, that's right. Um, yeah, I think I've gone high for this. Maybe 30 I might put this on at. Yeah, but again, it might I might put you know put it on at that with oh yeah, this was the other thing. Again, it was reduced to two pounds. I mean, just fabulous. I, this doesn't normally happen to me in the shops I go to, so I'm glad the bridge has reopened so I can pop along there once a week. Um, and that is it. <laughs> yeah. Crispy. Oh, all new brands to me. Oliver, Sp yeah, Oliver Spencer. But you know Hunter. You know Hunter, Heather. Um, show, show you the grand dog collar. There you go. And it's a, I think it's a sixteen inch neck. Yeah, sixteen inch. They all seem to be sixteen inch. Yeah, it's like, you know, where that's kind of cut off the collar. 
it's it, well it's mostly listed Karen because that's the way I work I literally was going to do a quick haul when Heather went on site so I carried on listing just haven't got the hunch on so I didn't know what I was doing with it yeah hi money mental and that's it so it's just a little quick one it's good it's 10 to 3 it's almost time to hop up the road for school pickup yeah so oh yeah um, I might do a sales video this week. Um, five more things to photograph for Karen. We have issues. Well, yeah, I've, I don't, let's not even go into how many issues I've got. Um, yeah, yes, uh, so pretty much pretty dire sales at the weekend, I'll say. Um, yeah, they're really quite low if you saw my figures on Insta. Um, and usually I'd wake up on Monday morning, I've got my... Uh, phone and flight mode overnight usually I'd wake up and there'd be a sale or, or one come through on Monday morning one no sales at the moment is really really quiet so but literally um it's annoying but unless it's not affecting me like worrying about it like I used to because I'm just no it just comes around and so I'm in here at the moment and I know that's coming so yeah add slow for you it's Oh, I'd love it. I, I know that it must be, you know, you can't all have all of your listings view, being viewed all of the time. It's not possible, but yeah, it would be quite nice for it to be evened out, would it? I suppose then you wouldn't get to enjoy the really super brilliant times when that's going mental. Uh, that's the rub. Spamming my watches too, right? Yeah. Somebody comes on there and they get an offer. <laughs> um yeah, I mean, I think out of the you know, half dozen sales or whatever I had on Sunday, a few, uh, or over the weekend, a few were from um, Office to Watchers, Office to Buyers. I wish they'd changed that name. It's not correct. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, have a good rest of your day. Two today. Yeah, well, zero here. Zero. Yeah, spam your watchers. Get on it. Right, yes. Uh, see you all soon. <laughs> Bye-bye.